It has been a rough go for workers at major tech companies. Giants like Microsoft and Facebook have laid off tens of thousands of employees over the past few months. So what are your rights if you're laid off? That is a good question for Jeff Wagner. Facebook's parent company drew the first big headline last November with 11,000 layoffs. Then it was Amazon, Microsoft, and Google's parent company, Alphabet. In 2023 alone, more than 200 tech companies have laid off nearly 70,000 workers. It's very challenging. Kathy Northhammer is the district president at Robert Hoff, a staffing agency. Are there certain industries in Minnesota that are letting go of employees more than others? We've seen a couple larger companies that may be hired aggressively or are changing strategy do some layoffs, but nobody within a specific industry. Hiring workers appears to be the main move locally. A Robert Hoff survey found 98% of Minnesota respondents are either expanding or trying to fill vacant positions, but that's not everyone's reality. Despite record employment rates, we're getting phone calls literally every day from people affected by layoffs. Charles Horowitz is an employment attorney. If someone has just received a layoff notice, what are their next steps? So typically in the situation of a layoff, job restructure, reduction in force, an employer is going to give the affected employee a written severance proposal. Prior to accepting, Horowitz says workers should ask themselves if other people in the company should have been selected for layoff. If you're part of a legally protected class, including race, age, gender, disability. If you recently took time off for medical leave, including birth or adoption of a child. If the answer to any of these questions is yes, it's important to contact a lawyer. Are there protections if you reach a certain age level? We're seeing a virtual epidemic of layoffs affecting older workers, especially as employees reach a t retirement age, because they tend to be more expensive. Employees 40 years old and up should review the Older Workers Benefit Protection Act, a federal safety net to ensure older workers aren't unfairly laid off. Lastly, if a Minnesotan was immediately let go or fired, you shouldn't have to wait long to get paid. Under Minnesota law, an employer must pay you your earned and unpaid wages within 24 hours, regardless of whether there's a, a two-week uh, pay period. Jeff Wagner, WCCO 4 News. If you are laid off, Horowitz says you should file for unemployment immediately because there's about a three-week waiting period before you would receive your first benefit check. If you have a good question for Jeff, just email him through WCCO.com slash links.